Well, good evening. Welcome to Lexington Christian Academy tonight for high school basketball. Tonight, it's Lexington Christian at home. Coach Nate Valentine's team taking on Lexington Catholic and Brandon Salzman. Both teams ranked in the uh, top 20. Coach, when you look at the polls that came out uh, earlier this week, uh, these two teams highly regarded around the state. Even though they've got some losses, they've played a really tough uh, schedule. Well, these are two of the premier teams in the, not only in the region but the state, and, and respectfully so. You know, they've got some great talent with Matt Rose at LCA, Tanner Johnson with Lexington Catholic, and wow, just the talent on the floor tonight is tremendous. It should be an exciting basketball game. Catholic uh, starts, as you know, Coach, pretty much a senior-laden uh, ball club when you look at Michael Talbot, Jared Griffith, Tanner Johnson, Reese Ryan, and Walker Booth. LCA, of course, Matt Roach, you already referenced him. And then you throw in the youth with Kyle Road, one of the top eighth graders in the state, uh, starting for LCA. you got the youthful experience, and then, of course, you got Kyle Road. And LCA did take a big blow when uh, Drew Hill went down with the injury. He's had surgery. He's out for the year for the Eagles. That's right. Very unfortunate for Hill to go down. And uh, it's, it's good to see his teammates supporting them with their little warm-up jerseys tonight, supporting him with their his, his, his number. I think it's his sore 10. So they're, uh, they're going to continue to support him, and LCA is going to continue to play basketball and get better, and I'm sure Lexington Catholic will too. Well, we've got the uh, camera, as you can see, along the way there. It's Hawaiian night here at LCA. A lot of folks over there in the uh, hats and Hawaiian garb, and it should be a raucous crowd here tonight. These two teams uh, have become one of the best rivalries in the city, and this uh, battle tonight brought to you by Traditional Bank, also Van Meter Insurance, that's Michael Hancock, Bluegrass Orthopedics, and also Kentucky One Health, that's Ed Nybert. Uh, we talked to Ed, we talked to Mr. Nybert coming in the uh, gym tonight, as a matter of fact, and uh, his son, Benton Iber, one of the uh, great players for LCA. Uh, James Comer for Governor 2015. All sports. See it on the field. See it on the courts. Get it at all sports. Also by Dallin Dental, Nicholasville and Harrodsburg locations. Uh, Julie Davis and Robbie Davis. Zija, that's right, discover Zija in uh, 2015. Lose weight, feel great with Zija here in 2015. All those folks are our sponsors here. Tonight we're on prep spin with uh, William Warfield. It's LCA and uh, Lexington Catholic. And, and, Coach, we've seen both these teams over at the traditional bank classic over Lexington Catholic. What kind of game do you expect here tonight? You know, Gary, both of these teams are extremely well coached. They both handle the ball well. They have experience. They have great shooters. They're fundamentally sound basketball teams. So I, I expect a very small number of turnovers. I expect to see a lot of executed offensive plays. Uh, it should be a fundamentally sound basketball game, fun to watch and exciting to be a part of. And, of course, if you look at uh, Tanner Johnson, as he goes, it seems Lexington Catholic goes. He struggled with the three in the championship game last week. We did over at Lexington Catholic, uh, struggling behind the arc. And, and it seems like his team feeds off of him. He, he's such a talented player, and it seems like as Tanner Johnson goes, Lexington Catholic goes. Well, that's exactly right. And, you know, in that game, I believe Tanner was – maybe two for nine from behind the arc. And that just certainly was a blow to Lexington Catholic. And, um, you know, he needs to get off to a good start, gets his team off to a good start. And LCA the same, you know, they, they rely on the three as well. So, uh, you know, as I watch them warm up, they're just nailing one after the other. So that's a good sign for LCA. And LCA in the home white tonight, Lexington Catholic in the blue. Uh, LCA comes in with a nine and uh, four record, Lexington Catholic nine and five record. As we said, both teams are ranked in the uh, top 20 in the latest poll that came out. The uh, I go by the Herald Leader, the Dave Cantrell rankings, because I'm not, I don't live in Louisville, so I don't go by the Courier Journal's Litkin House ratings. The AP poll came out today, and Henderson County, the team we saw win the uh, uh, traditional bank classic uh, last week at Catholic, they're ranked as, uh, I think, as high as number two or three in the state right now. Well, Gary, and certainly they should be. We saw them knock off a Henry, an excellent Henry Clay team, a manual team, a Lexington Catholic team, and the number one team in the state, Trinity. Right. So, you know, that team rightfully deserves to be there. I think their only loss, they, they uh, knocked down a three-quarter court shot, but that Simmons had stepped on the uh, out-of-bounds line before, uh, before the ball left his hand. So, yeah, that, that Henderson County team really made some noise and um, is, is going to be a good measuring tool for the rest of the state now. Good crowd here tonight. We'll step out. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups. It's Lexington Christian Academy and Lexington Catholic battling here tonight at LCA. We will return here on Prep Spin and have the starting lineups and the tip here on Prep Spin. come true to be your Commissioner of Agriculture, and I view the people of Western Kentucky as our family. So TJ and I have chosen 
in this time and this place to say to all of you, I will be a candidate for governor in 2015. All S, all P, all O, R, T, S. You see it on the field, and you see it on the court. Pick it up at all sports. Pick it up at all sports. In Fayette Mall on Facebook and Twitter, locally owned and operated since 1972. I'm Marcy Ansley, Executive Director at Lexington Hearing and Speech Center. We've grown into a statewide organization to help children and adults with communication disorders, both hearing and speech. Traditional Bank has been part of our team since we were in the little buildings over on Ashland. We wouldn't be in this building today if it wasn't for their support. I think what makes our banking experience unique is outstanding customer service that we get. They have become part of our family. They have become part of our finance team. Traditional Bank is passionate about what they do. Define the fabric of a team. It's not selfish. It's not boastful. It's about many, sewn together to reach one common goal. But in order to win, we must learn to work together. Hey, great party. Oh, thanks. Here you go. One hamburger, medium well. Uh, this is well done. No, no, no. That's medium well. What? Are you calling me a liar? This thing is practically burnt. That's it. You're not going to come to my house and tell me how to cook a hamburger. Is, I don't it well. You wouldn't do it there. You gotta be crazy. So, don't do it here. Sportsmanship. It's up to you. What if you could do all your banking without ever having to run to your bank? What if you could do your banking from any stadium or city in the country? It doesn't matter who you are or what you do. With traditional banks, online and mobile banking, it couldn't be more simple. My life moves pretty fast, and traditional banks team protects me while I do what I do best, at home or away. Way to go, traditional bank. You scored again. Traditional banks, online and mobile banking. Winners at home and on the road. Traditional bank. Choosing a college is about setting a course, a path that leads to your destination. At EKU, the adventure is what lies in between. Eastern Kentucky University. Great journeys begin here. I know you young people said to yourselves, I am going to live a purposeful life. And I say to you, during your four years of college is a time to enlarge your souls. And the way to enlarge your lives is to so broadcast your life into the lives of others that it will return to you a hundredfold. All P, all O, R, T, S. You see it on the field, and you see it on the court. Pick it up at all sports, pick it up at all sports. In Fayette Mall on Facebook and Twitter, locally owned and operated since 1972. There's something special in the air at the University of Louisville. Investment and constant progress are helping today's students and faculty unleash their potential, discover new answers, Open more doors. Give back to others. See new worlds. And become champions in everything they do. Now, more than ever, it's a great time to be a Louisville Cardinal. Welcome back here to Lexington Christian Academy. Gary Ball, Justin Cheatham, William Warfield, and Emma 
Eiler, our uh, videographer here tonight. It's Lexington Catholic and Lexington Christian. We'll take a look at the uh, starting lineups here tonight. First for the Eagles of Lexington Christian, the home team coach by Nathan Valentine. Drew Schock the, has been starting at point guard, a 5'10 senior, averages about six points a game. Big uh, Drew Trimble, 6'8 senior, seven points, five rebounds. At a forward, 6'7 Matt Rose, 24 points, 10 rebounds a game. Kyle Rode, the 6'5 eighth grader, averages nine points, six rebounds. And the three-point shooter, 6'4 Benton Nyberg, averaging uh, 11 points a game, a 6'4 senior. That's your uh, tentative lineup uh, for the Eagles of Lexington uh, Christian Academy. Let's take a look at the Knights of Lexington Catholic. At the point guard will be Michael Talbot, a six-foot senior, averaging nine points a game. Jared Griffin, a 6'2 senior, averaging 14 points a game. Tanner Johnson, a 6'5 senior, averaging 22 points a game. Reese Ryan, a 6'3 senior, averaging 7 points, 7 rebounds a game. And big Walker Booth in the middle, 6'5 and a half senior, averaging uh, 7 points and 6 rebounds a game for the Knights of Lexington Catholic. They're coached by Brandon Salzman. Lexington Catholic will be in the blue tonight with the white. LCA will be in the white with the blue. A lot of blue in here tonight, Coach Cheatham. There's blue all over the place. We even have blue sweaters on, yes, so we're we ready to go. We're going <laughs> to fit right in there with them. And we got a nice crowd in here tonight, one of Listen, the better crowds we've seen here at LCA. It's an excellent crowd, both sides. I'd say about 80% of the way full. Well, what do you think early on, Coach? Is it going to matter? Tanner Johnson needs to be knocking down some threes, obviously. Well, early on, they're thinking district tournament, to be honest. You yeah. know, right now, LCA has lost three out of their last four, but they're 2-0 and oh in the district right now. And when you're playing this game, you're playing this game not just for, for tonight, but for seeding in late February. For Catholic, you know, their loss to Lafayette puts them 0-1 in the district. So, you know, they cannot start off district play going 0-2. So you can bet there's a huge sense of urgency for Lexington Catholic. At the same time, LCA, great basketball team, they've lost three out of their last four. They're not going to lose four out of the last five. So a great sense of urgency among both teams. And the uh, start tonight will go to uh, Trey King, the 6'6 sophomore. He will get the start tonight uh, for the Eagles of Lexington Christian. It looks like he's in there for Drew Trimble. I saw Kyle Rode, Nybert, uh, Rose, and shocked out there. So it looks like uh, the change will be Trey King. And those five starters are indeed the five starters for the uh, Knights of Lexington Catholic. They break huddle first. They're out there ready to go. LCA breaking their huddle, and here they come out. And Matt Rose honored tonight with his uh, joining the 1,000-point club here at LCA. Huge honor. Fine young man, outstanding basketball player. Good student. It'll be Trey King jumping up against Walker Booth for the Knights of Lexington Catholic. And thanks for watching here on Prep Spin tonight in HD. Gary Ball with Justin Cheatham. Here is the tap, and it is going to be Control Griffin. He's going to give it back to Talbot, and he's not even going to walk it across now. He will, and he'll be picked up high there by the shock down near the uh, timeline. Hands it over to Griffin. Griffin now surveying and coming out on him. Rose, man-to-man -man coach here for LCA. Right now man-to-man, -man and Rose out top on Griffin, and it looks like Griffin's going to try to take him one-on-one. -on -one. Griffin kicks it back over to Talbot. He works in on shock. Little floater. Hang no good. Rebounded by King. Well, King asserts himself early on and gets a nice ovation from the crowd with that authoritative rebound by Trey King. That was an excellent rebound by Trey King to use his body and square up well and then get the ball to the guard. Across the line, Drew Schock, the uh, senior. He penetrates on Talbot, kicks it over to Nybert. Back it goes to Schock, and he's working on Reese Ryan, and Reese has still not named his uh, college choice yet. Comes over to Cal Road, the eighth grader. Back over to Road, he penetrates, left hand. Kicks in the corner. Nybert will line up the three. Got it. Excellent ball movement there by LCA. Patience against the Lexington Catholic zone. Gets the good-looking three-point shot to start off the game. Boy, he does not play like an eighth grader, does he? That. Penetrated. Saw the defense coming to him. Kicked it over to wide open. Uh, bent to Nybert, and he buried the trade. Three to nothing. Good start for the Eagles. Down the lane, Talbot hanging, floater, rattles it in. That's two drives in a row on two trips by Talbot. He believes he can take LCA man-to-man one-on-one. -on -one. Just underway, and things are going very well for LCA. They lead it 33-2 as they got the three-pointer from Benton Nybert on the left side. That's shocked with the way out top. Penetrates. Open lane down to King. He hangs and banks it home. Well, King handles the difficult bounce pass and is strong with the ball. Gets his eyes right on the rim, right on the target. Knocks it in. He's off to a good start. Good penetration again by the LCA guards to find King down low. Here's Talbot into the lane, and he throws it up over King and knocks it down again. Talbot with both of the buckets for the Knights, and it's 5-4 to four Eagles. All right, Lexington Catholic, three offensive possessions, three Talbot drives. 
Kyle Rowe gives it back to Shock. Both teams hitting well. Shock down low to King. Turns around, hooks and knocks it down. Now I know why they started Mr. King tonight. Wow, He's King, the king of the court. King came ready to play, Gary. A strong post move, a little jump hook shot. That's tough to stop. Seven to four, and Trey King has two buckets. Hybrid has a three. The superstar, Matt Rose, yet to shoot one. Out top, Talbot. He has a couple of baskets. Nice spin move. Left hand good. Wow, Gary. Talbot takes LCA to the right, spins back left, and that was a spin move. That was a, an amazing spin move by Talbot. Seven to six. Right side with it, LCA. They kick it to Matt Rose, fakes to King, scoops it out top now to Nybert, back over to Schacht, and Coach uh, Valentine wants to run play number four. We'll find out what number four is, Coach. It's this play. Looks like they were going to go for some <laughs> King, Rose, high, low. Pass goes through the hand of Rose, picked up by Schacht, the three, back of the rim, no. Rebounded by Booth. That's what he does so well, Walker Booth, chairman of the boards. Here's Talbot down the lane, and off glass, good. Talbot is taking over. He's got eight points. And Catholic with their first lead, 8-7. to seven. Gary, Catholic has had five possessions. Talbot has drove to the basket all five times. LCA has to find a way to stop Talbot. Nybert kicks it back out to Drew Schock. Had a good look. Comes back over to Nybert. He knocked down the first three. Over to Rose. Goes in on Griffith. Rose baseline. Fade away. Off the rim. No. King taps it. Walker Booth grabs it away. Another rebound by Booth. Booth with the strong rebound. and Long pass. and Trying to go. Knocked away. Good hands there by Rode and King. They were trying to go to a streaking uh, Tanner Johnson, and the ball yeah. was tapped away. Well, in the show that Talbot's put on, we almost forgot, hey, there's Tanner Johnson out there on the court. He and, happens uh, to average about 24, one of the leading scorers in the state. Here's Talbot down low, puts it up and in. Talbot is going crazy to the basket, has 10 points, and it's 10-7 to Catholic. Michael Talbot has all 10. Well, and Coach Salzman is basically saying, until you stop him, we're not going to make an adjustment. Shocked. Across the line, comes over to Nybert. Here's a long three, off the iron, no good. Tapped around Ryan, Nybert gets it back, taps to King. Trey puts it up and knocks it down. Trey King with six now, and it's 10-9. to nine. Boy, we got back and forth basketball here tonight at LCA in front of a nice crowd. Gary Ball, Justin Cheatham, William Warfield, and Emma Eiler. 10-9. to nine. Here's a Griffin one to get in on the action with the left hand up and in. Jared Griffin said, what my counterpart Mr. Talbot can do, I can do as well. Lex and the Catholic finding their way to the rim. You wonder how soon LCA might make a transition into a zone. 12 to 9. Catholic on top. Talbot has 10 points. Down low to Rose. Back to Shock. Overcome back down to Matt Rose. Back in it. Cut off double team there. Rose skips it back over to Shock now. He goes down low to Cal Road. Road backing in. Turns around and back of the rim. No. King taps. No. Tapped away, and let's see what the official says here. They're going to say it's going to go to Lexington Catholic. Boy, there's no panic there in LCA's offense. They move the ball from one side of the court to the other two times, get a little inside out, don't get the look they want that time. But that's excellent ball movement by LCA. Looks like LCA staying in their man-to-man, -man and, you know, Gary, until they stop it. Here's Talbot. Spin to drive. cycle again. Won't go this time. Boy, hadn't King been big already? That's another... Another strong, powerful rebound. Nice move by Road off glass. Good. Kyle Rowe with his first basket for the eighth grader. And it's 12 to 11. Back and forth we go. And one point lead here for the Knights. And they're being led by Michael Talbot, Coach Cheatham. He has 10 points already. He has 10 points and one of the best spin moves I have seen in, in, in the state this year so far. And, and Rhodes was a close second. That was a pretty tremendous spin move there by the eighth grader. I think P-Rats called Michael Talbot. They didn't want to know what spin cycle that was he was on. That was super fast. They want to try to use that in their new appliances. Super fast. 12-11, 2.22 to go. Griffith gives it over to Talbot. Left side free throw line extended. 12-11. We got a good one here tonight with Catholic and Lexington Christian. Johnson thought about the three. Moves in. Can't get that shot off in Guarded there by Road. Here's Griffin, a long three. Off the iron, no. There's Booth tapping, but Rose taps it over now to his teammate Nyber, and he gives it now to uh, just checking in Johnny Stein. Over it goes. The ball knocked away from Rose. Rose battling there with Booth, and Booth is going to knock it out, and the official is going to give it back to LCA. Boy, Gary, that's excellent defense there by Booth. His hand in the face of Rose. Scrappy action. Knocks the ball out of bounds. That's hard-nosed defense right there. Coming up this Friday, you can watch West Jasmine and East Jasmine here on Prep Spin Friday night. What is that, a 7.30 uh, start, Mr. Warfield? 7, 8 o'clock over at West Jasmine. 
Check that out Friday night. I did that East-West game. I tell you, they packed the house over there. For oh, that listen, one. you got to get there early when you when, when East and West play. That's exactly right. Get there early for that game. East-West Jesmond Friday night. Coach and I will be over at Lafayette on uh, WVLK Radio for the uh, Lafayette game against Tate's Creek. That should be a good one. That's, that's going to be a great matchup. Down the lane, Stein. He goes to the left. Here's a whistle and a charge call. He tried to kick it over to Drew Trimble, who just checked in, but a charge call there, and that's going to give it over to Lexington Catholic. 12-11. Great game here, Olum. Bo Michael Tabba was unconscious in the first three or four minutes of the game. Absolutely, and it looks like LCA is going to extend into a 2-2-1 full-court press to try to slow Lexington Catholic down a little bit. Talbot gives to Donovan Morris. He just checked in. J.J. Ogbugu in there. He's got the ball. Down low to Walker Booth wanting to hook it up and rolls it out of there. Rebound of Morris and pulled out of there by Stein. John Stein pulls it out of there, the senior. Stein over to Rose. In the corner they go to Joe Davis. Davis just checked in. Team's going uh, into their benches right now. 1-10 to go first half. Rose down the lane. Being cut off there by Ogbugu. Rose crossover. Matt stops from about 17. Got it. Well, that's going to get the LCA crowd going. Matt Rose gets involved in the offense, takes Ogbugu off the dribble, and knocks down the jumper. What a great atmosphere Put, tonight for oh, this game. Listen, this is a district tournament kind of atmosphere, but it's a district tournament kind of game. 13 to 12. We're down to the last 45 seconds of the first period, and it has been an outstanding quarter of action. Both teams have shot the ball well. Both teams have played well. It's 13 to 12. It's Reflects in the score. Talbot hands it over to Agbugu. Back over to Talbot. Talbot down the lane. Throws it right to LCA. Coming out of there with it is Joe Davis. Well, that's the first mistake we've seen by uh, Talbot in Lexington Catholic tonight. Talbot had nowhere to go. Jumped to look to pass and uh, passed it right into uh, LCA hands. Stein with 15 seconds. Works across on Michael Talbot. Good ball handling. Stein down to the lane. Cut off at the free throw line. Hands it back to his teammate now, Trimble. Trimble back over. They give it to Rose. Four seconds. Matt Rose over to Stein. He's going to have to get it off down low. Here's Trimble. Back of the rim, no, by Drew Trimble. As we head to the second quarter, great quarter of action in Lexington uh, Christian Academy, 13. Lexington Catholic, 12. We'll be back with second quarter action here on Prep Spin after this timeout. I'm Marcy Ansley, Executive Director at Lexington Hearing and Speech Center. We've grown into a statewide organization to help children and adults with communication disorders, both hearing and speech. Traditional Bank has been part of our team since we were in the little buildings over on Ashland. We wouldn't be in this building today if it wasn't for their support. I think what makes our banking experience unique is outstanding customer service that we get. They have become part of our family. They have become part of our finance team. Traditional Bank is passionate about what they do. All S, all P, all O, R, T, S, sports. In Fayette Mall on Facebook and Twitter, locally owned and operated since 1972. Welcome back, Gary Ball with Justin Cheatham, William Warfield, and Emma Eiler. It is Lexington Christian and Lexington Catholic. Great first quarter. Uh, Talbot led Catholic with 10. He had 10 of their uh, 12 points. Uh, Trey King had six, was really strong early on. Nybert hit the early three, and Matt Rose and Cal Road also with jumpers uh, for the Eagles. Both teams shot very well, over 60% in that first quarter. Right, we saw one adjustment made by LCA. They went to the uh, full court press, and it kind of slowed Lexington Catholic down a little bit, made it a little bit more difficult for them to penetrate. They got the turnover, so I look for LCA to continue to press this quarter. Matt Rose will kick it into Stein. They'll also go with Davis, Trimble, and uh, Kyle Road, who's got the basketball. Road comes back now to his teammate there, John Stein. As we start the second quarter, 13 to 12, LCA on top. Stein goes down the lane, over to Kyle Road. Road cut off. Now comes back out to Rose. Good defense by Catholic here right now. Really good defense. Well, both teams play good defense, and uh, you know, like, like like I said, this is a district matchup. Both teams have. A High sense of urgency to win. Stein's three off the mark. Rebounded though by Trimble. He puts it in. Offensive glass work there by Drew Trimble, 6'8 senior. And the ball kicked away as working into a front court was Donovan Morris. Ball kicked there by the Eagles. It'll go back to Lexington Catholic. Trimble was frustrated by that miss at the end of the corner. Makes up for it right there with the offensive board and put back. Lob down to Tanner Johnson. They're trying to get him on track. 
We had heard before the game that Tanner was injured, but we watched him in the pregame warm-ups, and he was knocking down some threes. But he does look like he may be hampered by something uh, to me up here. We're kind of up in the clubhouse here tonight at LCA. Yeah, there's no limp. He's just not playing at the same speed that we saw him play at at Lexington Catholic. Ike Bugu gives to Morris. He crosses over and cut off good defense by Stein. Morris. Stein really bellying up with him. Morris spin move. Kicks it left side to Peter Whitman, who just checked in. Back out to Tanner Johnson, working on road. Johnson, strong move, lays it up and in. That's what we like. That's what Tanner Johnson's good at right there. That's what we're used to seeing. 15 to 14. Lead back now uh, is uh, Catholic has cut that lead down to one point now, 15 to 14. Well, I guess Johnson hurt us because he just put the ball right on the floor, took it all the way to the glass and scores. So it uh, look, looks fine there. Rose to Stein, and looks like the Knights – are in uh, some type of uh, matchup zone defense. No, they're in a man-to-man. They're, they're coming out of that zone. I don't know now. It looks like more like a zone. Out top, Rose is three, in and out. Rebounded by Reese Ryan. Johnson, a long three, off the mark. Tapped around by Rose with the rebound. Boy, Johnson was way back for that shot, and Catholic's got to get back. Kyle Rode three, trying to bank it in, though. Tapped around, Trimble taps it to himself. Stops, puts it up, and draws the foul. These will be the first foul shots we've seen in this basketball game, and it comes with 6-11 to go in the first half. Yeah, and Gary, right now, Trimble's the difference in this quarter. That's two offensive rebounds. He converted the putback on the first offensive rebound. He gets the, to the free throw line on this offensive rebound. You have to box out if you're Lexington Catholic. If you're LCA, keep crashing the offensive boards because it's working. Trimble, a 72% free throw shooter. He knocked that one down. And we're going to have a couple of uh, substitutions in for the Eagles. Trey King is back in. Drew Schacht is back in. Nybert is back in to join uh, Davis and Drew Trimble. Trimble knocked down that first free throw. He'll shoot the second and try to make it a three-point lead for the Eagles, and he does. That's four points for Trimble now. As you said, Coach, great offensive board work there for Big 6'8", Drew Trimble. Right, those offensive rebounds have what's, what's given LCA the, uh, the advantage right now. 17 to 14, they're on top. Talbot, who had 10 points early on, they clamped down on him defensively. Tanner Johnson, a long three, got it. Well, Gary, LCA's now dropping back into their 2-3 zone, and Tanner Johnson makes him take, absolutely makes him pay for it right there. Nybert's three, back of the rim, no. There's Trimble battling, coming down with it, Davis. A third offensive rebound on three trips for LCA. Catholic See, has to do a better job of boxing out. Senior Joe Davis got that one. Joe kicks it over to now to Nybert. Lob down low. Trimble with the grab and the finish off glass. Trimble with six points now. Great finish by Trimble, but what, what a lob pass by Nybert. Excellent pass. 19 to 17. Across the line. They give Ryan to the basket. Tries to dump it down to Whitman. Turned around. Has it blocked there. I'm not sure if Trimble or King. I think Trimble got it, Coach. A little momentum swing right here. Shock. A long three. Got it. First three of the game for Drew Shock, and it's 22-17. Eagles by five. That's their biggest lead. Well, you have every player for LCA contributing offensively right now. It is an absolute team effort. Talbot over to Tanner Johnson. Tanner hit that long three. Now he's being dogged there by Davis. Yeah, after Tanner Johnson knocks down the three, LCA goes back to their man-to-man. -man. You look for Talbot to go back to driving. Walker Booth set to check in at the next opportunity for the Knights. They're down by five here to the Eagles with 4.37 in the first half. Gary Ball, Justin Cheatham, William Warfield, Emma Eiler down low. Johnson dumps it down low. Whitman grabs, turns, scores. That's great recognition by Whitman to, to see that his teammate Tanner Johnson is double teamed. Squares up, finishes the play. Shock bounces over to Nybert. He was open, won't take it. Comes back out to Davis. They swing it around to Drew Shock. Shock hit that deep three. Now getting some pressure there from Talbot, and we're yeah, going to have a that's whistle. That's over and back. Yep, stepped on the line over and back. Great pressure defense by Talbot causes the, uh, the turnover there over and back. Super crowded here tonight for this game. Super crowd, great atmosphere. Electricity, you can see it here on an HD there on the prep spin. That's Michael Talbot. He had those 10 points early, been quieted here in the second quarter. To Ryan, gives it to Tanner Johnson. TJ averaging 24 points. He'll shoot it from anywhere. Baseline off glass, and it rolls in. He's fouled, and they'll count the basket for Johnson. That's seven now for TJ, and he'll go to the line with the uh, three-point play, and he'll get it the old-fashioned way. What was impressive is 
what the defense took away, Tanner Johnson still found a way. He put that ball so high off the glass, still managed to convert and finishes the end one. You know, I don't know if he's hurting, but he's got eight points. So uh, He's not hurting very much this quarter, I'll tell you. <laughs> we are tied. Remember, uh, they led by five to the Eagles on the uh, shock three-pointer, deep three, 22-17, and then it's been five unanswered here by the Knights. Whitman had that nice lay in the three-point play by Johnson. Here's Davis across the line. Down low to King. King played very strong. Throws a bad pass, though. Throws it in backcourt, and that'll be over and back. So back-to-back -back turnovers by Catholic, and Jared Griffin's going to be teed up. He went down and sort of clapped it at uh, the uh, player from LCA, and they're going to team up. So Jared Griffin will get a technical foul, and that's going to that's going to draw the uh, ire of his coach, Brandon Salzman. Yeah, I believe Jared Griffin might end up going to the bench for that. I tell you, and it's unfortunate because Lexington Catholic's defense has absolutely gotten them right back into a tied game situation. They have the momentum. And that gets the LCA crowd right back in it and excited. You know, if you're Coach Salzman, what you're telling Jared Griffin, look, you're a great, you're a senior, you're a good ball player. When they throw the ball backcourt like that, you don't need to be going down there and doing that. I mean, just get the ball, let's get possession. Get the now, ball, and keep playing. You give them technical shots and the ball. Right, it's 22 to 22. This is anybody's ball game. This is a tough, long, hard-fought basketball game. You can't give your opponent any easy baskets like this. Matt Rose, an 86% free throw shooter, and he got the second one. He missed the first one. So normally a automatic at 86%. He does give the Eagles a lead back with 3.44 to go before halftime, 23-22. What a ball game here tonight at LCA. Well, what Catholic has to do is just maintain the defensive intensity that we've seen these last few trips. And checking in, Donovan Morris in there for Jared Griffin, who got that technical foul, had to go to the bench. Trey King's got it deep on Talbot. King. Comes over down to Davis. Back it comes to Shocked, and Coach Valentine calling out play number one. Catholic backing up their defense a little bit. Goes over to Davis. Out top, Matt Rose launches the three. In and out. King there battling, and we're going to have a whistle. And I think Walker Booth is going to be called for the push. That's right. Rose goes for the three against Tanner Johnson, and uh, King battling hard down low for the rebound. Gets the foul, so ball goes back to LCA. LC is very patient on offense. There's Rose right side, in and out, and rebounded by Johnson. Tanner scoops it now to Talbot. Michael down the middle of the left-hand dribble, penetrates, throws it up. King came over, tried to block it, but Talbot put it up over the outstretched hands of Trey King for his 12th point. Wow, Gary, that is just another big-time drive by Talbot to take it in there on two people, even the outstretched arm of King, and still converts. Nybert down low to wide open. King turns, scores. But King. if you don't get back on defense, right. it does not matter how many points you score. <laughs> your opponent will outscore you, and that's exactly what happened right there. Very good point. You've got to get back with celebrating. That basket is over. Now your team's down there scoring that's on the right. other end. And right back, you're down one. Morris kicks it over to Reese Ryan. He comes back out to Talbot. Just an electric tournament atmosphere here tonight at LCA. Gary Ball, Justin Cheatham, William Warfield. And also uh, Emma Eiler, 25-24. Spinning Talbot, and he is blocked there. Let's see what they're going to call a jump ball. I thought them Walker Booth and Trey King kind of going at it a little bit, but I thought that was an excellent call. I thought that was a clean block. Well, it was great help defense there by King to step over. They realized that, uh, you know, Michael Talbot has just had the upper hand in this ball game, and when he penetrates, King does a great job of recognizing it, leaves his man, goes straight up, Gets the jump ball called. 25-24. Eagles by one. They've led by as many as five. And Jared Griffin is back in the game for Coach Salzman after picking up that foul. Technical. Here Johnson a long three. Off the mark. Tapped around. And Rose has got it. Matt Rose brings it out of there on the slow dribble. Over to Nybert. Fakes the three. Nybert with 209 looking. Hands it back to Rose with Reese Ryan on him. Rose loops it back to Nybert. Down low to King. King can't handle it. Tapped around. Picked up by LCA. That's John Stein with it. Stein with a minute 55. He goes over to Benton Nybert. Nybert's open from three. Good. Boy, Nybert comes off the screen, recognizes he's open, gets his feet squared up, knocks down the three. 28-24. Benton Nybert second tray of the game and a four-point lead back for the Eagles of Nathan Valentine and Lexington Christian. Natalie Morris, a little floater back of the rim, rolls in there. Nice soft touch by Donovan Morris. Well, the LCA defense, just, just no answer right now for Lexington Cadillac's ability to penetrate and get to the rim. 
28-26 on the Donovan Morris little floater. He's got that move down. Here's going to be a timeout by Nathan Valentine and Lexington Christian. They lead 28-26 in a tight one here against Lexington Catholic. Both teams ranked in the state's uh, top 20 poll. We have a minute 22 to go here. We want to thank Traditional Bank, Van Meter Insurance, Mike Hancock, Bluegrass Orthopedics, and Hans Kentucky One Health. That's Ed Nybert, James Comer for Governor 2015. All sports, see it on the field, see it on the courts, get it at all sports. By a Dallin Dental, Nicholsville and Harrisburg locations. By Julie Hill, Azija, Robbie Davis from Zija. Discover a new year in 2015. You can lose weight. Feel great with Zija. All those sponsors, and we want to welcome Traditional Bank to the uh, broadcast tonight. Uh, Dana Adamson and uh, Bill Iverson over there. They were the sponsor, title sponsor of the Traditional Bank Classic that you and I covered over at Lexington Catholic, and that was a great tournament. Of course, won by Henderson. They knocked off the host team Catholic in the championship game. That was such an exciting, exciting Christmas tournament to be a part of. LCA has got the ball. That's Joe Davis. They go now to Rose. Power move. Put it in. He's fouled from behind. The ball went in somehow. It was kind of an excuse me dunk. He was fouled hard by Walker Booth, and Booth's in foul trouble now with three. And that will send Rose back to the line, and Rose now has five points in the game. Well, Gary, Lexington Catholic comes out in a three-quarter court zone, and uh, LCA attacks it from the corner, finds Rose. Rose takes the baseline and goes up and says, stop me if you can. Peter he Whit is going up for the two-handed dunk is what he was going for. Free throw good by Mr. Rose. He's got uh, six points. I got a real nice letter from Matt Rose uh, from the uh, ball report. We had him on last year. Just a, a class young man. I'm I'm a big fan of Matt Rose, as you know, Coach. Well, I'll tell you, that was one way to attack the basket. Whitman can't get it to go, but the sophomore, looks like he drew the foul. Trimble was there, and that's who they're going to call it on, Drew Trimble of yep. LCA. Yeah, Trimble definitely over the back there. Lexington Catholic again attacks the rim. Trimble goes over the back. Catholic gets to the free throw line. As we shoot free throws here, look at this balance. Drew Schacht has three. This is for LCA. Drew Trimble has six. Matt Rose has six, Nybert has six, King has eight, and Kyle Road has two as the free throw is connected there by 6'6 six, six sophomore Peter Whitman. Of course, the younger brother Jack Whitman, who was a set, an outstanding player at Catholic a couple years ago, now playing his college basketball, William and Mary. Yeah, you're talking about that balance and scoring. I'm just so impressed with LCA's balance and scoring and their patience on the offensive end. Catholic gets it back, Johnson, a three good. Oh, Boy, yeah. that'll hurt. If you make a mistake, Tanner Johnson will make you pay. The turnover leads to a a wide open three, and Tanner Johnson converts, cuts it to a one-point game. Johnson now with 11 points. Down lane, hanging, and a foul is going to be called. As good job by Trimble. Yeah, Trimble with the over-the-back call. You know, I've noticed with, about Trimble, when he makes a mistake, he gets it back. And uh, he goes and attacks the basket hard there, gets to the free throw line. So 38 it, yeah. seconds, Coach. 31-30. What do you think here? This has been a, a back-and-forth game. This is a district tournament championship caliber type of atmosphere and basketball game. It's very exciting. Trimble knocked down the free throw. Drew, a 6'8 senior. He's already got his average now in the first half, 32 to 30. Eagles by two. Trimble trying to add to that, and he does. Boy, he has been money at the line. He's four for four, as a matter of fact, on my sheet. And it's 33-30. Eagles by three. They've led by as many as five. Jared Griffin there with it for the Knights. Over to Talbot. Talbot's got 12 points. Tanner Johnson, 11. They've got 23 of the 30, Talbot and Johnson. Right, all off driving, and uh, Tanner Johnson with the two threes. I'll tell you, that, that, that's pretty balanced scoring as well. When you can drive and make shots from the outside like Lexington Catholic can, you know, you could be up on 20 on them, and they could still come back. They're trying to get somebody set up, I think, as Talbot penetrates. Right side hanging off glass. No, rebounded by Trimble. Looks up, two seconds, gives it to Rose. Rose is going to launch, and it's going to be off the mark, and we will head to the locker rooms. What a great first half of basketball here on the high school basketball side. Lexington Christian 33, Lexington Catholic 30 here. Big district matchup here tonight at LCA, 33-30 here at halftime. We'll come back, give you some uh, scoring in the first half, and uh, get ready for the second half here on Prep Spin tonight, uh, produced by William Warfield. And with Coach Justin Cheatham, Gary Ball, 33-30. LCA leads Catholic here at halftime. We'll be back on Prep Spin. All S, all P, all O, R, T, S. You see it on the field, if you see it on the court. Pick it up at all sports, pick it up at all sports. 
Sports. In Fayette Mall on Facebook and Twitter. Locally owned and operated since 1972. What if you could do all your banking without ever having to run to your bank? What if you could do your banking from any stadium or city in the country? It doesn't matter who you are or what you do. With traditional banks, online and mobile banking, it couldn't be more simple. My life moves pretty fast, and traditional banks team protects me while I do what I do best, at home or away. Way to go, traditional bank. You scored again. Traditional bank, online and mobile banking. Winners at home and on the road. Traditional bank. It's been my dream come true to be your Commissioner of Agriculture, and I view the people of Western Kentucky as our family. So TJ and I have chosen this time and this place to say to all of you, I will be a candidate for governor in 2015. We will start the journey to make Kentucky proud again. Thank you and may God bless the Commonwealth of Kentucky. I know you young people said to yourselves, I am going to live a purposeful life. And I say to you, during your four years of college is a time to enlarge your souls. And the way to enlarge your lives is to so broadcast your life into the lives of others that it will return to you a hundredfold. Choosing a college is a major decision. So why did I choose WKU? Because at WKU, professors are experts in their field. I'm encouraged to study abroad. And make the whole world my classroom. And where I get real world experience. Doing exactly what I want to do. And where I have all the tools I need to prepare for a successful future. It's all within my reach at Western Kentucky University. Find the fabric of a team. It's not selfish. It's not boastful. It's about many, sewn together to reach one common goal. But in order to win, we must learn to work together. I'm Marcy Ansley, Executive Director at Lexington Hearing and Speech Center. We've grown into a statewide organization to help children and adults with communication disorders, both hearing and speech. Traditional Bank has been part of our team since we were in the little buildings over on Ashland. We wouldn't be in this building today if it wasn't for their support. I think what makes our banking experience unique is outstanding customer service that we get. They have become part of our family. They have become part of our finance team. Traditional Bank is passionate about what they do. Hey, great party. Oh, thanks. Here you go. One hamburger, medium well. Uh, this is well done. No, no, no. That's medium well. What? Are you calling me a liar? This thing is practically burnt. That's it. You're not going to come to my house and tell me how to cook a hamburger. Like, ah, I don't really you, you wouldn't do it there. You gotta be crazy. So don't do it here. Sportsmanship, it's up to you.
All right, we're back here at Lexington Christian at halftime where LCA leads 33-30. to And just an exciting basketball atmosphere tonight. Lexington Catholics led by Michael Talbot who just has found his way to the rim in some extraordinary ways, some awesome spin moves. He leads all scorers with 12 points. Tanner Johnson, a slow start in the first half, but comes out in the second quarter and uh, some, some big threes and knocks down some layups. He has 11 points. Donovan Morris with two points. Peter Whitman with three points. And Jared Griffin with two points. So that rounds out Lexington Catholics 30. For LCA with a three-point lead, just tremendous balance in scoring for LCA. Drew Schott with three points. Trey King just gets the start tonight and just has a wonderful first half. Some strong offensive rebounds, some defensive rebounds, handles the ball well. Trey King with eight points. Benton Nybert knocks down some big shots, six points. Matt Rose, six points. Kyle Rode, two points. Drew Trimble, eight points. So really, tremendous balance there for LCA. Balance and scoring, been very patient on the offensive end. Lexington Catholic, ability to get to the rim, and then when they can't get to the rim, Tanner Johnson heats up from the outside. So just a great basketball game, anybody's basketball you game. You know, I agree. I, I thought the first half, Coach uh, Cheatham, uh, both teams played very well. There were no lulls in the game where teams had slumps or looked like they weren't playing a really good basketball. I, I thought both teams just really went at it. Uh, as you mentioned on that Matt Rose, uh, excuse me, dunk that he was able to complete, that shows that young man's strength and ability on the basketball floor. And then when they needed to knock down some threes, both teams knocked down some threes. Tanner Johnson, I think all of his 11, or at least most of it, was in the second quarter because Talbot did all most of the scoring in the first period for the Knights with, I think, 10 points in that quarter. So it was Tanner Johnson in the second half. I think what you're hoping for if you're Catholic is that uh, Jared Griffin picks up his scoring here in the second half. Right. It has just been a very balanced. Well, in the first quarter scoring, it's a 12-13 to 13 LCA. Second quarter scoring, 18-20 to 20 LCA. So in each quarter, the, the slight edge goes to LCA, but it's not much of an edge with only a three-point lead at halftime. Well, we expect pretty much the same thing in the second half, and uh, it's been a great first half of basketball. Uh, Friday night, uh, you can catch East and West Jesmond right here on Prep Spin at 8 o'clock with William Moorfield. Uh, so that'll be Friday night. Uh, coming back up uh, this weekend, Sunday at noon, you can catch the uh, Scholastic Ball Report on the CW. We're on Sunday this week because of uh, college basketball Saturday at noon on the ACC basketball. So we're Sunday at noon on the uh, our team of the week, Paris Greyhounds. So we're having a 9-2 and two season over there. They're having Paris. a great a great season. I believe they got a win over this LCA team a couple weeks back. So looking forward to that. And then also uh, uh, high school basketball Saturday night uh, right here on the C uh, live here at LCA. Central Bank Classic. Uh, the girls game is Harrison County LCA at 6. And then after that, it'll be the uh, Campbell County boys who have an outstanding basketball team against this LCA team. That should be two really good games at the Central Bank Classic. You can see those live Saturday night on the CW. It'll be a great Saturday night filled with basketball, but I'll tell you what, Gary, the next two quarters that we're about to see is going to be as good as it gets as well. You have two outstanding coaches coaching it out right now. You have great basketball players on either side of the floor and uh, a gym filled with crazy fans, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Good crowd here tonight, and we're just about a minute and a half or so away from the second half. We will uh, step out real quick for one minute, come back with the second half tip. It is Lexington Catholic and LCA, Eagles leading 33-30. We'll be back here on Prep Spin with the second half of Lexington Catholic and Lexington Christian. All S, all P, all O, R, T, S. You see it on the field, and you see it on the court. Pick it up in all sports, pick it up in all sports. In Fayette Mall on Facebook and Twitter, locally owned and operated since 1972. What if you could do all your banking without ever having to run to your bank? What if you could do your banking from any stadium or city in the country? It doesn't matter who you are or what you do. With traditional banks, online and mobile banking, it couldn't be more simple. My life moves pretty fast, and Traditional Bank's team protects me while I do what I do best, at home or away. Way to go, Traditional Bank. You scored again. Traditional Bank's online and mobile banking. Winners at home and on the road. Traditional Bank. It's been my dream come true to be your Commissioner of Agriculture, and I view the people of Western Kentucky as our family. So TJ and I have chosen this time and this place to say to all of you, I will be a candidate for governor in 2015.
will start the journey to make Kentucky proud again. Thank you, and may God bless the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Second half uh, just about set to start here. Same lineup uh, for LCA. It'll be Rose, Shot, uh, Cal Road, uh, Benton Nybert, and Trey King. And they will start with the basketball. Catholic will go with Talbot, Johnson, Griffin, Reese Ryan, and Walker Booth. Goes to Matt Rose, baseline jumper, and rattles it in. Boy, that's got to drive Coach Salzman crazy. That is just way too easy. That, that wasn't even that fast a ball movement to the corner to get a Rose wide open shot out of the corner. It looks like they gave him a three on that. They I thought did. He, I thought he was inside the circle from up here because we're high atop up here in the uh, crow's nest. It's like a clubhouse seat up here. We like it. It is the clubhouse seat. You have to have to the VIP pass. When the VIP up pass up here. 36-30. Griffin down the lane. Johnson thought about the three. Tanner backs it back out. Kyle Road on him. I know we've talked about Kyle Road quite a bit, but He's got to be one of the best eighth graders in the state. Well, absolutely. And, you know, you're putting him on Lexington Catholic's best player. So that's a – Griffin rattles that one in. We talked about Jared Griffin getting his offense going, and he rattled that inside the uh, – sorry, it was not a three-point. It was inside the line. Two points. 36-32. Lexington Catholic back in their zone. LCA's moving it around patiently. They've been very patient tonight, the entire night on offense. 36-32, 6.48 to go in the third quarter. Kyle Road into the paint. Nice spin by Road, and he missed the shot, though. That's another great offensive rebound by Booth. Uses his body well, boxes out, pulls down the board, gets it to a guard. Booth's doing his job. Jared Griffin, who's trying to be more of an offensive uh, punch here in the second half, already rattled a shot in inside the three-point line. Jared into the lane on Rose. Hands it to Tanner Johnson. He's lining up a long three. Back of the rim, no. Long rebound by Nybert. Kicks it out to Matt Rose. Rose takes up his dribble, hands it to... Ball goes off the board, though, as Nybert was trying to throw it to Rowe, but the ball kind of slipped out of his hands. And Here's Tanner Johnson into the lane. Johnson, a little floater. Back of the rim, no. Booth taps, no. Johnson picks it up. Foul from behind by King. Boy, Tanner Johnson crashing the boards there, gets his own offensive rebound, puts it back up. He's going to go to the free throw line. And, and I'll tell you, Gary, we're early into this quarter, and I don't want to speculate, but right then Tanner Johnson still, even though he got his own offensive rebound, he still just looks a little sluggish. But with so much sickness going around, you, you just never know. He could be feeling a little under the weather, still having a great basketball game either way. 12 points under the weather or not, he's got 12, and that right. equals uh, Talbot's 12, 36-33, and he rolls it in. Two good-looking free throws there. 13 Let's for Tanner. Allows Lexington Catholic to set their press. Rose has it knocked away by Johnson. He thought he knocked it off of Kyle Rowe, but it'll go back to LCA. Matt Rose will put in side court now. Full court press being employed by the Knights of Brandon Salzman. 36-34. Great game here tonight. Thanks for watching on Prep Spin. Gary Ball, Justin Cheatham, William Warfield, and Emma Eiler. Pass goes bad. Pass there by... Shocked. He thought Nybert was cutting more to the basket, and Nybert stopped on that uh, cut, and they throw it out of bounds. So, Well, if you want to lose the lead, this is how you do it if you're Lexington Christian. That's two possessions in a row where they have just thrown two, the ball to the cheerleaders. They call those empty possessions. Those are completely empty possessions. Ball knocked away, and there's a steal by LCA. As Kyle Rode got a hand on it, that's Drew Shock, the uh, senior. Shock very slowly works it across the line, angles on the right side. Now hands it to Matt Rose, top of the circle. That's Tanner Johnson on him defensively. 5.26 to go, third period. Two-point ball game, 36-34. Eagles leading the night. Drew Schock, down low to King, and there's going to be a whistle. I believe there's going to be a kicked ball there. Shot tried to complete the entry pass, bounce entry pass off a screen from the on the zone up top to King, and the ball gets kicked. So it'll stay with Lexington and Christian out of bounds underneath. Drew Trimble, and he checks in along with John Stein. Stein trying to get it in play, loops it way out to Trimble out near the midcourt stripe. Trimble, 6'8", pounds it down on Griffin. Trimble, not a bad ball handler for 6'8". Not a bad King. ball handler at all. King now back to Stein. LCA trying to be patient here, almost a turnover. To the basket, Trimble hanging and floats it in. Boy, Trimble, great body control there. He recognizes that Booth has already taken one charge tonight, going to stand in there and take another. Trimble uses his body control, gets up in the air, knocks it down. This crowd's electric tonight. You can't really feel it up here where we are, but it's a great crowd, believe me. 
That was a very important possession for LCA. They had had those two empty trips. They're patient on that trip. Get a basket. Talbot on the left side and faking with the ball. Goes baseline now. Talbot floater. Put it in. He's fouled. He will get the soup and the sandwich. Gary Talbot is just having the game of his life. The ability to drive right there and score not on one LCA defender, but on two. He's drawing two every trip. King's been told to help, and uh, Talbot's still able to convert. Talbot missed the free throw, though. He has 14 points, 38-36. Long pass to Trimble. Trimble ball knocked away, but goes right back down low. Wide open. King powers it, blocked away by Booth, and they're going to call into what are they going to what they call I, foul. I, if that's, a, if that's the foul on the block, that's an extremely late whistle because King went up, had missed the shot. Lexington Catholic had the rebound. It looked like we were going the other direction, and then the whistle blew. So, yeah, yeah. so I, King's going to the free throw line. That's why I hesitated the delay of the call. Free throw in and out by King. He had eight points, as Coach Cheatham said. I had a terrific first half. Had six early and a couple of uh, authoritative rebounds as well. Second one is good for Trey King, a big 6'6 sophomore. He's going to be a good one, isn't he, Coach? He sure is. He uh, rebounds the ball well, has used his, 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 his body well on the court tonight, and right there, you know, takes it up strong. And whether it was a foul or not, the ref called the foul, and he knocks down one of two. Talbot kicks it over to Jared Griffin. Back to Johnson. A long three by Tanner. Front of the iron, no. And there's Walker Booth rebounding. As he goes to the ground, he traveled. He thought he was knocked to the ground by... It was Walker Booth battling about three LCA players, and uh, yeah, the ball will go to LCA. Yeah, it's uh, it was one of those battles where nobody really had possession, and then when as Booth falls down, the LC players kind of stepped off and gave him possession. Well, as he fell, that, that's a walk. So that was a smart move there by LCA to step away. Rowe doing a good job not going over and back. There's Kyle. Uh, Matt Rose is three off the mark. Rebounded though by Trimble. Turns and scores. Boy, Trimble. He touches the ceiling to get that rebound. Turns, puts it right back in. Lead is five for the Eagles under Drew Trimble. How many times have we seen Drew do that tonight? Just, yeah, countless. Countless. And that's really been the difference right now when you look at a five-point lead for LCA. It's been offensive rebounding. 3.44 to go, and Coach Salzman not happy about uh, some of the calls here in this game. I think we go back to that late call on that uh, foul. Yeah, that, that was a very unusually late call there. Um, it could have been a foul, but when there was no whistle at the play, you tend to think that we're moving on. But whistle blew, and um, King knocked down one or two free throws. And in a game this close, boy, every possession, every free throw, every basket makes such a huge difference. Lexington uh, Christian, coached by Nathan Valentine. Lexington Catholic by Brandon Salzman. Coach Valentine, a longtime assistant at Trancy with Coach Brian Lane, and now in his first year here with the LCA Eagles. And I'll tell you what, I like what he's done here so far. This looks like a team that uh, is going to be hard to deal with come uh, 43rd District Tournament time. It sure is. I'm just, again, so impressed by their patience on the offensive end, the teamwork, the balance, and offensive scoring. You know, how can they finish, though, down the stretch here? They're playing with a lead in a, in a, in a tough, close, crosstown rival game. Lexington Catholic's Jared Griffin, double team. He's going to be uh, tied up there. Jump ball called. And a tie-up there done by Christian and John Stein of Lexington Christian tied up with the uh, possession arrow still in the favor of Catholic. They'll get the ball back. Good defense there by Stein, Coach. That's good defense. That's uh, LCA making an adjustment there on defense to trap Lexington Catholic. Walker Booth and Jared Griffin play catch. Looking at the zone by LCA. 3.20 to go, 41-36. Here's a long three by Griffin, knocks it down. Jared Griffin with five. He's coming to life here, folks. He had only two points in the first half. He's got five here in the first four and a half minutes of the third quarter. Well, that wasn't just a long three. That was about, NBA that three. Was, that was behind the NBA line. Davis a three. That's off the mark. Walker Boo taps it. Here comes Talbot with it, wanting to streak with it. Spin move, knocked away, picked up by Trimble. Trimble, he kicks it out and out of Rose. Rose goes in on Johnson, hanging, and no call there. Johnson comes out of there with it. Some contact. The LCA fans, of course, that was over by them. Here's Griffin, 41-39, coach. Siding up and down right there, Gary. I'll tell you, two-point game. Lexington Catholic's got the momentum right now. 
Matt Rose is pulling on his jersey, looks a little tired. Coach Salzman's calling out a play, and uh, I'll tell you, when Jared Griffin can step back like he just did on that last play. Whistle away from the ball, and they're going to call a foul against LCA. I think it went on Davis. And we're going to have Drew Shocked and King back in for Davis, and we'll see who else. You got six guys in there. It's going to be Kyle Road is going to come out for LCA. And Peter Whitman is going to come in for Booth for uh, Coach Salzman. A lot of tired players on the court right now. This is a lob and stick back by Johnson. He's fouled by Trimble. Boy, that is just a great quick hitting out of bounds play designed in the lob for Tanner Johnson coming back to the basket. Executed to perfection. Trimble gets his hand in there, picks up the foul, and it's a tie ball game. And that is 15 now for Tanner Johnson, make it 16. Lexington Catholic takes the lead. 42-41 on the Tanner Johnson three-point play. Full court press by the uh, Knights. And that is Drew Schock. Throws it right to Catholics, Agbugu. Johnson, a long three, got it. Well, Gary, that's just unbelievable. That is Tanner Johnson now stepping back and looking at his teammate Jared Griffin and said, hey, if you can make one from NBA range, I'll, I'll make one from NBA plus. And that's exactly what he does. Gives Lexington Catholic a four-point lead. 45-41. That's back-to-back -back threes. He did the first one the old-fashioned way, the three-point play. Then he knocked down the uh, three. And that's what we talk about so often when we do these Lexington Catholic games. Tanner Johnson, I mean, the time he gets off the bus or wherever he gets to the game via the car, he's ready to shoot when he walks in the gym. He is, and he has he has gym range, and when he's feeling it, you just you can't stop him. He's got the length, he's got the vertical, he's got the quick release, and that stroke right there just showed why he is such a dangerous basketball player and Lexington Catholic is such a dangerous basketball team. 45-41, they now lead LCA. By four, they were down, and then Tanner Johnson made back-to-back -back three point plays. He made one the old-fashioned way, then he knocked down the three from about 25 feet out. And it is now 45-41. Gary Ball, Justin Cheatham, William Warfield here on Prep Spin. A Friday night, another big game on Prep Spin. East and West Jessamine over in Nicholasville. That'll be at 8 o'clock. William Warfield will have that action for you right here on Prep Spin. So check that out Friday night. A lot of big games coming up. And check us out next week, too, right, William, for another big uh, game here on Prep Spin. Lafayette and LCA here next Friday, right, a week from Friday. That'll be our game of the week. How about that one, Coach? That's going to be a good one, too. Down low, Rose hangs and banks at home, Matt Rose. Boy, and the key there was handling the Lexington Catholic press. They do get the ball to your star. Rose attacks the basket, and that was a huge possession for LCA. Jared Griffin, 45-43. Great ball game here tonight. Thanks for watching here on Prep Spin. With the basketball, Donovan Morris. Morris loses it to Matt Rose. Rose streaking down. Rose hanging. Mitt tapped up and a foul called on the Rose attempt. He's fouled. That will send an 86% free throw shooter, Matt Rose, to the line to tie this game up. Remember, Tanner Johnson was lights out. I showed Tanner already with 19 points in this game, Coach. He averages 24 on the season. Yeah, 24 points on the season, 19 in this game so far. And, wow, what another momentum swing. We go into that timeout with Lexington Catholic having just hit three threes, has all the momentum, got some speed on the court, giving LCA trouble in the press. Great timeout by Valentine. LCA comes right back out, cuts this thing to a two-point lead, but Rose comes up short on the first free throw. He missed it, and, you know, 86%, and he's already missed two free throws tonight. Uncharacteristic for Matt Rose. He knocked down the second one. He's got 11 points, but uh, Drew Trimble leads the attack. I showed Drew with 12 for LCA. And, you know, a number of those have been on offensive stickbacks. Right, and it's a, uh, you know, it really starts with defense, and that's what started Rose on offense right then is his, his aggressiveness on the defensive end. Talbot looks at that full-court pressure, dribbles out of it, gives over to Jared Griffin. Griffin's got Whitman out in front of him. Whitman kicks it back to Michael Talbot. Jared Griffin, he'll hit it from there, and Trey King knows that. Griffin thought about it, penetrates, stops from about 15, in and out, tapped around, and Kyle Rode comes down with it. Well, it's a great job by Rode to be in position on the weak side and attack the glass. 
Cross the line, Shock kicks it back out to Rose. Comes over to Nybert, Benton to Road. King posting up on Whitman down the lane, and they dump it down low to Rose, and Road to Rose, and Matt couldn't handle that pass. A little bit too much mustard on it, and goes out of bounds. Yeah, just a mistake there by the eighth grader driving into the middle and absolutely nowhere to go and throws the ball where even Rose can't handle it. And when Rose can't handle it, it's a bad pass. <laughs> you, you get that right. 46 seconds here in the third. Great ball game, Coach. This is great. I mean, it's a one-point game, 40 seconds to go in the third. This could go any direction. Tanner Johnson and Jared Griffin out top. Griffin down the lane, little floater. Front of the iron, no. Tapped around. Rose wins that battle. Comes down with it. Matt Rose. Griffin all over him. Down to 26 seconds to go. And I would not be surprised if Nathan Valentine wants the last shot here in the third quarter. Yeah, that's exactly right. He just had a shot to back it up, hold it there. And uh, you'll see it about eight seconds. They'll take off. Down to 12 seconds. 45-44. Knights leading Eagles. Scary ball with Coach Justin Cheatham, William Orfield, and Emma Eiler, our videographer. Here's Shock off the right side. Glass no. Tapped around King. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Shock got a good look at it. Just wouldn't go for him off glass. We head to the final quarter. Lexington Catholic, 45. Lexington Christian, 44. We'll come back with the final quarter here on Prep Spin and HD here tonight. Thanks to all of our sponsors and thanks to Traditional Bank tonight, Fan Meter Insurance, Bluegrass Orthopedics. We'll be back on Prep Spin for the final quarter. All S, all P, all O, R, T, S. You see it on the field, you see it on the court. Pick it up in all sports. Pick it up in all sports. In Fayette Mall on Facebook and Twitter, locally owned and operated since 1970. It's been my dream come true to be your Commissioner of Agriculture. And I view the people of Western Kentucky as our family. So TJ and I have chosen this time and this place to say to all of you, I will be a candidate for governor in 2015. We will start the journey to make Kentucky proud again. Thank you and may God bless the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Gary Ball, Justin Cheatham, William Warfield, Emma Eiler back here. Again, thanks to all of our sponsors, Kentucky One Health, Ed Nybert, also to All Sports, see it on the field, see it on the courts, get it at All Sports. Fourth quarter action, Coach. Eight minutes to go in this ballgame, one-point ballgame. LCA has the ball. Well, it's anybody's ballgame. Who's going to execute down the stretch? Nybert to road, going baseline, tries to power it up, blocked by Whitman, gets it back and lays it in. Whitman plays great defense there, goes straight up, it doesn't go for the rebound, and Road continues to attack, gets his own rebound. Again, offensive rebound has really been the difference in this game and is what has LCA on top right now. By one, 46-45, 7.35 to play here at Lexington Christian in front of a very good crowd here tonight for a Tuesday night affair here at Lexington Christian. Catholic's going to be very patient. Talbot is going to hand it to Tanner Johnson. Johnson with 19 to lead everybody. There's Jared Griffin into the lane. Griffin floating, missed the shot, and drew the foul there. And I think they called that one on Trey King. Well, the last three possessions we've seen Griffin finding his way to the glass and getting to the basket, attacking. He's been in attack mode and doing a great job. He gets to the free throw line right here, and with two free throws, he can put his team back up. Griffin, one of the leading scorers for the Knights this year, along, of course, with Tanner Johnson, who averages almost 25 a game. Griffin now has six in this half, eight overall, but, of course, he averages 14 points a game. Right, and he had that big three there in the third to really swing this game back towards Lexington Catholic's way. Coach Valentine calls a timeout, gets the momentum swinging back his way. It's just been that kind of game, back and forth, back and forth, and that's why it's tied. Another tie. 46 all. Griffin trying to get a lead back to Catholic does. You know, and that's why the, the, the gym is full of fans because anybody who knows basketball knows when these two teams meet, it's going to be an exciting, well-played. What did you say? The, they met already this year, right? No, they didn't. They this have is not their met. First this is the meeting. first district meeting. Gotcha. Yeah, this is their first district meeting. What a district basketball game here tonight. Pass over to Benton Nybert, a long three, in and out. Tapped around. There's Rose, and he sticks it up and draws the foul on TJ. Johnson's going to pick it up. Yep, LCA. Gets a good look from behind the three-point line. Again, Lexington Catholic, no box out. LCA's crashing the boards well, puts it back in. Tanner Johnson with the foul. Rose with 11 now, make it 12 points tonight. Average is 24 and a half. He's right up there with Jared Griffith 
who averages, Griffin actually leads the 11th region at 25, 26 points a game. Rose right up there, though. And I tell you what, ELC he is, he's a good free throw shooter coach. Well, he's, he's already missed his two for tonight, yeah. so you can expect that over the next seven minutes he will probably be back to the free throw line and most likely, statistically speaking, should not miss. 48-47, Rose gives the lead back to the Eagles. Jared Griffin across the line for Lexington Catholic. Griffin backs it back out of there, 6.53 to play here at LCA in front of a really nice crowd. Almost a steal by Rode. No, he does get the steal. Good job by Rode. Yep, the entry pass just a little too much for Tanner Johnson. Rode does a great job of denying that entry pass. Gets the deflection and the steal. Kyle Rode dribbles in with the left hand on Reese Ryan. Back it goes now to Joe Davis, who's back in there. Was shocked. Over to Kyle Rode. Rode hands it back now to Drew Shock. Back over to Rode. Rode looking for Cutter. Spinning. Rode dumps it down over to Trimble. Ball knocked away. And Picked up by Talbot of Catholic. Well, again, that's another example. Walker Booth hangs and scores. Well, Walker Booth did a good job running the floor, getting back in transition, and Talbot fed him 49-48. Yeah, that was a huge swing right there for Lexington Catholic. Shock's going to be tripped up and found. Talbot's going to pick it up. You know, and a great heads-up guard play by Talbot to find his teammate running the floor well, and... Repays him, gets him the good look and the layup, puts his team up by one. Kyle Rode kicks it over to Joe Davis, back to Rode, over to Rose. Rose with Griffin on him. Over to Rode, open from three. Kyle Rode uh, off the iron, no. Rebounded by Tanner Johnson. Boy, Tanner Johnson said enough offensive rebounds for you boys tonight. He goes up to the sky and pulls that one down. Talbot with 5.40 to play. 49-48. Catholic by one point here. Back and forth it's been all night. Griffith kicks it over now to Reese Ryan. Ryan working there on Davis. Man to man right now coached by uh, LCA. Man to man looks like Catholic's going to be a little bit more patient this quarter. Griffith shovels it over to Ryan. He goes baseline. Hangs. Got the basket and drew the foul. Reese Ryan. Boy, Reese Ryan being quiet tonight. Waits his turn. Very patient as Lexington Catholic moves the ball against the LCA man to man. Sees an opportunity to take the baseline and takes advantage of it. Gets to the glass, uses the backboard well, does Reese Ryan. He puts Catholic up by three. Can add to that with the uh, three-point play. Reese Ryan, that's his first basket tonight. As Coach said, been quiet offensively and got the free throw. Three-point play for Ryan makes it 52-48. And Catholic quickly in that full-court press, causing some problems, but Davis gets it from Rhodes. Bounces over to Matt Rose, a long three. Got it. Wow. 16. That's all I can say is wow. 16 now for the big fella, Matt Rose. 52-51, cuts that four-point lead to one. 4.53 to go here in the contest. Tanner Johnson. And we're going to have a timeout called full timeout by Coach Salzman with 4.50 to play, 52-51. Lexington Catholic leading Lexington Christian. And we'll step out here on the prep spin. We'll return here to Lexington Christian Academy, 52-51. Lex Cath leading Lexington Christian. What if you could do all your banking without ever having to run to your bank? What if you could do your banking from any stadium or city in the country? It doesn't matter who you are or what you do. With traditional banks, online and mobile banking, it couldn't be more simple. My life moves pretty fast, and traditional banks team protects me while I do what I do best, at home or away. Way to go, Traditional Bank. You scored again. Traditional Bank online and mobile banking. Winners at home and on the road. Traditional Bank. We're back here with uh, 4.50 to go in the game with Lexington Catholic, Lexington Christian, Gary Ball, Coach Justin Cheatham, William Warfield, and Emma Eiler here on Prepsman. Thanks for watching tonight in HD. High definition. And it's been a high definition type game here tonight. Well, I don't know how the Kentucky game turned out, but I guarantee it can't be any better than I, this one. I agree. I'm glad we're here. 
Friday night, William will have East and West Jasmine here on Prep Spin. Coach and I will be over at Lafayette uh, for the big game with Tate's Creek on WVLK 590. Check that out Friday night. That's at 8 o'clock. Here's Johnson going baseline. Floater, no good. Pulled out of there by Trimble. And then Trimble's going to be fouled. Booth and Johnson were there. And they called They called that on. Was that a frustration foul there by That was TJ? a frustration foul, absolutely. You know, that was a well-executed play by Lexington Catholic. They get Tanner in the position they want going back door. Misses the shot he thought he should have made. And, uh, you know, just playing scrappy. Just playing scrappy basketball. And to Lexington Christian's credit, they handled the pressure. Long pass goes to Road. Rose spinning, and we're going to have a charge call there on Booth, and Booth sold it. Well, Gary, that is the second time tonight Booth has stood his ground in there and drawn the charge. Just an outstanding heads-up play there by Booth. Coach, you uh, you wanted did you want a UK update on the UK game? 66-64 with 6:30 to go. All right. Well, then that's the second best game in town. <laughs> well, we're glad people are watching us though. And here is Ryan to the basket. Reese hanging. Won't go. Tapped around. And Davis has got it for Lexington Christian. They can take the regain the lead here with four minutes to go in this contest. Big district showdown here tonight at Lexington Christian Academy. Right. And it's really about right now who is going to execute offensively, be patient on the offensive end, and then limit second chance opportunities. Davis to Kyle Rowe. Little floater hanger. Won't go. And a traveling call on road. Well, Rhodes saw an angle, took the ball to the basket, but it results in another turnover. I believe that's, what, two, three turnovers in a row there by LCA. So, again, some empty trips by LCA, an opportunity for Lexington Catholic. Benton Nybert has uh, come back in for the uh, Eagles. He would join Shocked, Davis, Rose, Trimble in the lineup. Ma Michael Talbot has the ball, pounding it down with three and a half to play for the uh, Knights in blue. Talbot down the lane, put it in, Talbot. Well, I was wondering when Coach Salzman was going to go back to that because it certainly worked well in the first quarter, and that is clearing out and let Talbot go to work. And he does it just there and extends the Lexington Catholic lead to three. Davis, long pass over, knocked away, and they're going to give it back to LCA, knocked away there by Ryan. And if you're LCA, you'd certainly want to get the ball in the hands of uh, number 12 right now. That's right. You want to continue to be patient on your offensive end, run rows off some screens, they or loop, or loop. just pass it to him straight off the bat out of the inbounds pass. Matt Rose, and he works it across. He's got 16 points. Kicks it in the corner to Drew Shock. Shock now brings it back out. Under three minutes to play now, 54-51. Eagles need a three to tie. Now top to Trimble. Over to Nybert. He's open from three. Rolls out of there. Went halfway down. Well, you won't get any better look. Offensive execution, ball movement, swung it against the zone, got the wide open Nybert, just didn't knock it down. Yeah, if I'm, uh, if I'm LCA, I like that shot, right. though. Nybert, as you said, wide open. That ball went halfway down, and that's with the ball coming out of it. 54-51 is Jared Griffin down to 227 to play here. Lexington Catholic LCA. You get the feeling this one's going down to the wire, Coach? It's going to go down to the wire, and right now Lexington Catholic's doing a good job of spreading out LCA. Griffin to Reese Ryan, and Trimble got a hand on it. Ryan battling. Reese loops it back to Johnson. We're going to get a timeout with 2.12 to go. 2.12 to go in this ballgame. Timeout on the floor called by Lexington Catholic. They lead 54-51. Well, Gary, that was a great timeout there by Coach Salzman. Takes a 30-second timeout, uses a few seconds just to uh, calm his team down, regroup. Got a three-point lead, doing a great job. If you're LCA, right now you're talking about you got exactly what you wanted on the offensive end. When you're patient, you get good looks. And so with two minutes, that's, that's a lifetime, plenty of time. So LCA, you just have to sit down and play defense and get a stop. If you're Lexington Catholic, continue to spread them out, take what they give you, and, uh, you know, I would continue to send Talbot to the basket. Two twelve to go in this one, 54-51. Lexington Catholic has the ball in the lead in the blue, LCA in the white. Michael Talbot, cross on shock, two minutes to play in the ball game. Hands it to Tanner Johnson, over to Jared Griffin. That's the thing we talked about with Catholic. They got some great ears. Uh, Griffin to the basket, reverses it up and in, somehow made the shot, it'll count. 
Well, Lexington Catholic just spreads out LCA, and that's the third time this quarter we've seen Griffin take it to the basket. The two previous times he got to the free throw line. This time he gets to the free throw line for the and one. That was an acrobatic reverse layup that he just made right there. He's got nine points, Coach. Uh, 11 overall, nine here in the second half. Boy, and a five-point lead in this game is, is a lot of points. Jared Griffith to Southpaw, rattles in the free throw, make it 11, make it 12 now. And 10 of those here in the half. 57-51, that equals the biggest lead. The, that is the biggest lead the Knights that, have had, yeah, six. That's a six-point lead, biggest lead, and LCA looking a little rattled right now. Shock over to Nybert, down low, Rose hanging, and banks it home. But they execute against the press, get the ball to Rose, he converts. Now you got to sit down and play defense if you're LCA. And Talbot's going to be fouled up near the midcourt stripe in the minute 33. By the way, if you're keeping score at home, Matt Rose now with 18 points in the game. Right, he's having a great game. And, you know, whoever comes out of here the in, in defeat, you know, there's still a great basketball team with a lot of basketball yet to play. And what we're really looking at right here is a preview of – a 43rd district tournament game could be the finals. Um, and that would be played right over in your backyard. And that would be Creek. played right over, yeah, that's right. Well, what a game Talbot has had, you know. I mean, just right then he handles the pressure, he gets fouled. He's not looking to score, he's looking to make LCA foul him. They do just that. He runs down, still throws it up in the air and knocks in the layup, even though it didn't count. He can put the Knights back up by six. West Jess all over Bergen, 76-31. Wow. Talbot converts on the second free throw, so. 59-53. Talbot with the 20 points tonight now. Rose over to Benton Nybert, three, got it, rattled it in. Well, the that's key senior, there. That's senior right there, Rose, saying, hey, I, I believe in you, big fella. Well, I know the last one went in and out. I believe you're going to knock this one down. He kicked it over to Benton Nybert, and he knocked it down. From the deep baseline, 59-56. That's right. That's two seniors playing heads-up basketball. You know that Lexington Catholic is going to draw on Rose as he drives. They do just that. And Rose has the IQ to drive it to Nybert's side, which I'm sure he's done thousands of times throughout their career. Kicks it to Nybert, and he makes the shot. And now we got a one-possession ball game. With a minute 21 to go here, we want to thank our sponsors tonight. Thanks to Traditional Bank, Van Meter Insurance. That's Mike Hancock, Bluegrass Orthopedics, and Hans Kentucky One Health, Ed Nybert. Uh, James Comer for Governor 2015. All sports, see it on the fields, see it on the courts, get it at all sports. And by Dallin Dental, Nicholsville and Harrodsburg locations. Also Julie Hill of Zija and Robbie Davis. Discover a new year in 2015. Lose weight, feel great with Zija. Thanks to those sponsors. And, of course, uh, Traditional Bank, a new sponsor with us uh, tonight on the uh, Prep Spin. Uh, Friday night it'll be East and West Jessamine at 8 o'clock right here on Prep Spin. Big ball game. Right here, 59-56. And Madison Central beat Dunbar tonight, 66-63. That was a good one over there. I believe that was a Madison Central. Here it's going down to the wire, as we said, 59-56. LCA employing a full-court press. Griffith back over to Johnson. They got to get it across in 10 seconds. Talbot dumps it back. They just got it across. Now to Ryan. Tanner Johnson to Jared Griffin. A minute five to play. 59-56. Catholic with the lead. Talbot comes back to Tanner Johnson. 56 seconds. Johnson. Well, Down. Gary, we've seen this before. Lexington Catholic can play four corners basketball better than anybody. Griffin. And it's going to be a reaching foul as he was doubled by Shocked and Rose. Pick your poison on that. I think they called it on Shocked, actually. That will send to the line Jared Griffin, who's uh, normally an outstanding free throw shooter. Right. Right. I believe he made his last two. So I, I, Griffin definitely wanted the ball in his hands. And that's what you want to see. Jared, a good night tonight. 12 points. 10 of those here in the second half. Knocks it down. Looks good on the first. Pushes this to a two possession ball game with 47 seconds. He'll have right at his average if he knocks this one down with 47.9 to go. 60-56, Knights by four. Gary Ball, Justin Cheatham, William Moorfield, and Emma Eiler, our videographer here tonight on Prep Spin. Thanks for watching on HD. And he got them both. Griffin, cool. Yeah, that was big time. Step up there in this atmosphere, knock down those two free throws. Cool as the other side of the pillow, as Stuart Scott would say. 
We lost a great one, didn't we? An absolute legend. 61-56. Down the lane, Davis stops and pops and got it. Davis, first basket for Joe. Well, Davis just took what the defense gave him. It was a smart play right there. Catholic's defense was outstanding everywhere else, so Davis took it, knocked it in. One possession ball game, so. UK apparently in a real battle tonight. We'll get an update on that one here in a second. Here it's a battle, 61-58. 74-71. Kentucky up with 350. A lot of time left in that game, but Kentucky up 74. Yeah, you got it on yeah. here. I tell you, it's amazing how you how quick you can get these scores oh. nowadays, isn't it? All right. So we've got two barn burners going. I tell you, you know, everybody talking about undefeated, but I still go back to that was a lot of time between the Louisville game and, and the game tonight. Oh. What, 12 days off or 11 days, whatever it was? That's a long time to go without playing a game. And obviously tonight they're showing some worse for wears. But here tonight, Lexington Christian and Catholic battling here. A uh, big battle here. And I tell you what, Catholic didn't have very far to get over here to LCA. What about a mile or so? About a, yeah, I would say probably two miles. And um, not a long drive home, but it'll feel like an eternity for the one who loses. 61-58. Coach, obviously the Eagles are going to full court press pressure here on Catholic to try to come up with that turnover. They're only down by one possession, and they've yep. got some great three-point shooters in Matt Rose, Benton Nybert, and, uh, you know, believe it or not, Drew Schock can knock down the three as well. He sure can. And Nybert knocked down by Johnson, no call, and LCA fans wanted a foul there, but might have been a lot of acting going on there as well. Probably a little bit of acting, so looks like Tanner Johnson's going to go to the free throw line. They're going to call that foul on Rose, and... Very little time comes off the clock. 24.9 seconds and a 61-58 lead for the Knights of Brandon Salzman here. Big 43rd District showdown. And that free throw is no good by Johnson. 19 for TJ. Averages nearly 25 a game. Well, whatever happens here, there's plenty of time for LCA to just take what the defense gives them. They don't have to have a three in this situation. They can just continue to drive, make or miss. Johnson missed them both. Two big misses there. And here comes uh, LCA chance to tie. Davis, left side, penetrates. Davis crossing over, down the lane, and knocked away by Griffin. And then we're going to have a foul called on Trimble, I believe, with 13 seconds. Yeah, that's probably not the offensive look you wanted there in that situation. Down three with time expiring. You want Rose to touch the ball at least once in that situation. That's exactly what I was getting ready to say. I definitely make sure that Rose gets a touch of that ball right. in the with the game on the line. Right. And it's January, and that's a great learning moment. But for uh, Catholic LCA. helping them big time. But they missed their last three free throws. Remember, Tanner Johnson stood up there just uh, several seconds ago, missed two, and now Walker Booth clanks one up there. That's right. So this is a uh, this is a big free throw right here, and Coach Valentine's going to take a timeout and try to ice him. With 13.3 to go here in the ball game, 61-58. We said this was going down to the wire, and that's exactly what's happening here tonight with 13.3 seconds. Thanks for tuning in tonight here on Prep Spin. We have another big game uh, Friday night. William Moorfield will give you all the action of East and West Jessamine right here on Prep Spin. Well, I did that game last year, and it was literally a packed house over there at West Jessamine. I mean, you couldn't get into place. I don't think you could have squeezed anybody in there last year with if you had a shoehorn maybe. You know, the little shoehorn you could have squeezed right. another yeah. seat in there. They were packed in there last year. They hate each other, oh. East and West Jessamine. It will be absolutely yep. packed. It will be just an exciting atmosphere to watch a high school basketball game. That will be Friday night, 8 o'clock. So check that one out here on Prep Spin. William Warfield will have all that action. And uh, Coach and I will have on radio on WBLK 590, where we have Tate's Creek at Lafayette. Expected a pretty good game over at Lafayette that Friday night. That should be an exciting game. You know, they met earlier in the season. Tate's Creek won. So Lafayette trying to avenge that loss. And, uh, you know, again, it's a district matchup, as this one is tonight. And Catholic cannot afford to go 0-2 in the district. If you're LCA, you know, you don't want to lose four out of your last five. So this is a big game for everyone. And check out the Scholastic Ball Report if you like high school sports. That'll be Sunday at noon on the CW. Sunday at noon this week. Uh, a day change because of the NCAA basketball. Booth second. He missed the first one. And he missed that one. Rebounded by Rose. They've got time. They need a three to tie. And they're going to get it across the line and call a timeout with 11 seconds. They have a lot of time. They get it in midcourt. And uh, Drew 
Shock looks at the official, says we get it right over there, and he's exactly right. They get it at midcourt. And, Coach, design me a play here if you're a Coach Valentine of LCA. Well, most likely they have a play designed for this exact type of situation. You're taking the ball. They knew exactly where they wanted to push the ball to to take the timeout. You're down three with 11 seconds in this situation. You know, you can't try your luck anymore. You've got to get the ball into the hands of either Nybert or Rose to take that shot. And I would honestly look for, again, Rose to drive, to penetrate off a screen of the, of the zone, of the Lexington Catholic zone, and kicking it to Nybert in the corner. This has been an outstanding game here tonight. Been a great crowd. And, yeah, we mentioned uh, Trevor Hill earlier with that injury in the pregame, how he's out for the season, Mr. Hill. So 11 seconds here. I think he set up a pick for Matt Rose or Nybert because Nybert has proven uh, that he can knock down the three as well. Drew Trimble is going to put it in play. Three-pointer would tie it, 11 seconds. Trimble looking. Rose gets it out, and he's going to be pushed there by Reese Ryan. And you know, that's really not a bad foul in that situation. Cause, cause they're not, uh, I guess they're not even in the bonus right. yet. So You're not in the bonus, and uh, he was going for the steal, so we'll just have a do-over is all that is. And it only took less than a second. There were 11 seconds. There's still 10.3. Rose gets it out top with Ryan on him. Eight seconds. Rose kicks it over to Shock. Shock, bump, goes up a long three off the iron. No, rebounded by Johnson. And he's going to be grabbed there by Davis, and that, they may just about do it. Boy, Shock had a good look at it. Well, Rose was going for the shot, and the great defense by Lexington Catholic kind of deflected the ball, and he still had the strength to pass it over there to Shock, who head fakes. Up in the air he passed it over. Right. He you know, had to. He hang, had to. Hanging up in the air. So, so Johnson, who missed a couple of big free throws earlier, at the line, we'll be back up there. The one will ice it. Got it. That'll put him up four, and that'll just about do it. There's no four-point plays unless you get fouled shooting a three. But that'll do it. Will, so yeah. So he, if he makes this one, it's over. Make and or he miss. Does. It's 63-58, 2.2. So even if LCA throws one in here, and Rose has got it, and he is going to throw one up, and that's off the mark. Good ball game here tonight, won by Lexington Catholic, 63-58 over Lexington Christian by five. And, and Coach, uh, your, your final thoughts here tonight, I, I thought uh, a great ball game. Talbot was kind of the uh, catalyst early, but it was Jared Griffin and uh, Tanner Johnson uh, doing the bulk of the scoring in the second half. Matt Rose came alive in the uh, second half for LCA. Right, this game could have gone either way. You had great basketball players. It was a great atmosphere. You know, hats off to both these teams, all these kids. They played their hearts out. And they'll move on, and they will be something to contend with come February and March. We'll come back for final thoughts and a recap. 63-58, Lexington Catholic by five over Lexington Christian. We'll return on Prep Spin in HD, produced by William Warfield. All S, all P, all O, R, T, S. Sports. In Fayette Mall on Facebook and Twitter, locally owned and operated since 1972. It's been my dream come true to be your Commissioner of Agriculture, and I view the people of Western Kentucky as our family. So TJ and I have chosen this time and this place to say to all of you, I will be a candidate for governor in 2015. We will start the journey to make Kentucky proud again. Thank you, and may God bless the Commonwealth of Kentucky. What if you could do all your banking without ever having to run to your bank? What if you could do your banking from any stadium or city in the country? It doesn't matter who you are or what you do. With traditional banks, online and mobile banking, it couldn't be more simple. My life moves pretty fast, and traditional banks team protects me while I do what I do best, at home or away. Way to go, traditional bank. You scored again. Traditional banks, online and mobile banking. Winners at home and on the road. Traditional bank. 
I'm Marcy Ansley, Executive Director at Lexington Hearing and Speech Center. We've grown into a statewide organization to help children and adults with communication disorders, both hearing and speech. Traditional Bank has been part of our team since we've written the little buildings over on Ashland. We wouldn't be in this building today if it wasn't for their support. I think what makes our banking experience unique is outstanding customer service that we get. They have become part of our family. They have become part of our finance team. Traditional Bank is passionate about what they do. LCA led 33-30 at halftime, and then uh, Lexington Catholic came out in the second half behind uh, Jared Griffin and Tanner Johnson. Uh, they combined for uh, some big numbers in that second half. Uh, as a matter of fact, if I look at the uh, total scoring there, uh, it looked like uh, Jared Griffin finished with 14, but 12 of that in the second half. So 12 by Griffin and uh, 12 by Johnson. So they had 24 of their points in the second half, did the, the dynamic duo of Griffin and Johnson. And then Matt Rose, who had only six at half, finished with uh, 18 points. So he had 12 points in the second half. As we said, uh, we talked about in the pregame, the superstars of these teams, they both stepped up tonight. Matt Rose of LCA stepped up. Uh, Tanner Johnson, Jared Griffith stepped up for Lexington Catholic. They win at 63-58. The playmakers were making plays. It was a great, highly contested basketball game. A lot of fun to watch. Both these teams will learn from this experience and move on and be better basketball teams because of tonight. Big week coming up of high school basketball. William Warfield and Prepsman will have East and West Jesmond. That'll be Friday night. Check that out at 8 o'clock over West Jesmond. Looking forward to that. Uh, Friday night, East and West Jesmond. We'll also have a big game next Friday as well. Lafayette right here uh, next Friday night at, at Lexington Christian. That'll be our uh, big uh, Friday night game of the week next uh, Friday night. Uh, so check that out here. Good ball game. Lexington Catholic pulls it out. 63-58 over Lexington Christian. Thanks for watching it here on Prep Spin. And uh, join us Friday night for East and West Jesmond over Nicholasville here on Prep Spin. And for Coach Justin Cheatham, this is Gary Ball. And for William Warfield, great evening. have a great evening, everybody, and thanks for watching Prep Spin.